So many people are saying, when is God going to use me? Just where you are. Yes. Start to do it. Because I, I had a big fight with him. I was sitting on, on, on what they call as a cross cut where the two split like that. And I said, Lord, when are you going to send me out to the, to the nations? You've said I must go to the nations. When? Look at this place. Five years, Pastor. Five years. Yeah. And I was fighting, you know. And he said to me, well, this is a little bit back in the time because I spent five years in total. And then he, he said to me, open your eyes. You're in the, in the mission field. And yes. I said, what? took the lamp and I shot it down the tongue, nothing, nothing. And I sat there and I was still fed up. Mm -hmm. And one man walked past. Mm -hmm. And as he got a little, I said to him, hey, do you know Jesus? <laughs> and he turned around and he came back. Hallelujah. Mm -hmm. You know, right. and it started. I mean, some days, 30, 40 people each day. I used to stand where they had to pass me. Do you know Jesus? Do you know Jesus? Come, let me tell you. <laughs> so I, I had a captive audience there. <laughs> you know, I could reach them. I could bring them in and my own people that didn't really want to, started to become jealous and give me the gospel. Yes. You're telling all these people, but now what about us? Yeah. And they started to get saved one after the other, one after the other. Hallelujah. So in the city, in the town, in the malls, anywhere, mm -hmm. anywhere, on the bus, on the train, on the airplane, ask God to make that opportunity for you to reach these people and to talk. Amen. That's right. Hallelujah. Amen. My dad's real good at that. And wherever he's at, he's always, always uh, witnessing. You know what I'm saying? On the plane. Yes. Yeah. He's getting the, he's getting the, the, the stewardesses saved. Yeah. Yes. Yeah. Well, we first called to be witnesses. Exactly. You shall be witnesses. Yes. That's the very, some people are not good at preaching. They are good at witnessing. Yeah. And I mean, he will take you through that school. He'll school you and then slowly bring you out in it. And I mean, that's how I started. And then I met the guys who trained me. I was trained by, by African uh, evangelists. This is how you do it. Really grassroots. You know, mm. and that's how the, the, the Lord brought me to go out to the nations. Mm. That's incredible. Hallelujah. Praise God. Man, I'm telling you, man, if we can get the body of Christ there to arise and to wake up, I mean, that we can see some incredible uh, Amen. results Amen. coming Amen. Uh, in these last and days. And this is really what I think, as they're listening, they should realize it, yeah. that you can do it, that they can reach out to their neighbor, even if some people's parents aren't safe. Yes. You know, many young children go to there, but their parents have never been saved. There's many instances you need to just look at your family and say, Lord, is there any way that I can reach them? Is there any way, you know? And, and I, I mean, we, in that way, we will get an awakening. Yeah. You know, they, if they really do the counting of how many people get saved one-on-one -on -one. Mm -hmm. it's actually the majority yes you see so when we do our mass crusades when i go out there there are literally thousands and tens of thousands of people being saved yes. but much more is being done on the one-on-one -on -one. so that onus and that responsibility to us as christians to us as witnesses is there that they can go out they can reach out they can pray for the sick yes i mean god will do it as I, many of the people my son to even now he's i mean recently he had a an, i would say an awakening he needed a awakening and he, and he, you know, he said to me the other day when I found, he says, Dad, the devil is fighting me. You know this and that and that. And I mean, oh, my goodness, I was trying to phone him and say, how's your, how's your spiritual life? Then I knew if he's got a fight, he's doing something right. You know, <laughs> so just keep on fighting, keep going in that. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. Yeah, that's awesome. Yes, Thank you, Jesus. So you've seen this in the minds. Yes. Yeah. Uh, and... Uh, it, and how about the local towns and villages that you were you exactly grew up in kind the of thing? same? When we went out, the wonderful thing was to spend time. Yeah. You know, sometimes we go two, three days and we think we're going to be effective. We're not effective. When you go out and you're spending time, our tents would be out for months at a time. We, I would literally stay in the tent and come home weekends. Mm. That is how we were ministering. That's how. And the teams were there. We knew that. And after a little while, the whole area is completely saturated, how would I say, pickled by the Holy Spirit, you know, from the worshiping, from the preaching, <laughs> and then things would just start to change. I mean, mm. even the farmers, even the laborers, the laborers would start to preach to the, the farmers, the, 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 they were the employers, they would be preached to by the workers, mm. you know, and then they would start to see a change in their people and the whole district would change. The witch doctors would bring their people, <laughs> come on, <laughs> bring 
this is all these people. Help me, I can't heal these people. <laughs> and you pray for me, and then he gets saved, you know. And he was blind, and he got, he could see, he was going blind, and the Lord healed him, you know. And so many things, so many, all because it started with being a witness there on the workplace, out into the fields, out into the, out to the nations, and now into the U.S. Yeah, I'm witnessing again. Yes. What God is doing all through the area, what God is doing, and what He can do, yeah. you know. And I just want to want to say, you know, when I when I first came to the U.S. Um, you were open to accept the gospel. Yeah. You were open to give me a chance. You were open to make a way. And what has happened is that the, 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 the Lord made a way. Yeah. And from just from preaching one day in your church and the support and the encouragement that you gave, I've been able to go out to other nations, mm. to Asia, to Africa. So, yes, even there you're witnessing with me. <laughs> Through awesome. your kind heart. It's exciting. <laughs> hey man, I'm a, I, like I said, we're, you know, we, I'm a firm believer in um, that things don't happen by accident yes. or coincidence, that there are uh, divine connections and, uh, and destiny moments, and uh, you being connected. Uh, to our church, yes. I, I believe is, is what, you know, it was God set that whole thing up. Yes. It was a moment of destiny. And, uh, and I think what a lot of times we don't realize is that uh, really the reality is um, we are not uh, someone that's living in some kind of box all by mm -hmm. ourselves, that everything that happens in our life, it, it, every person that we come is all connected. Yes. Everything is connected, and there's a reason, there's a purpose for everything that's going on. And, uh, and so uh, we don't, things don't happen uh, out of coincidence. We don't meet people out of coincidence. There's, there's a divine mm -hmm. reason for Absolutely. it. Absolutely. And so we have to be alert and awake, like you said, to the purposes of God and allow God, because you just never mm. know mm. Uh, what, uh, it's kind of like that spiritual domino effect, yes. you know what I'm saying, that just there's a ripple effect that takes place, not only now, but in, in, in the future yes. and throughout history mm. kind of thing. And so it's so important that uh, we be sensitive to the Holy Spirit. You just never know. You Somebody said, well, I'm not like Billy Graham, mm. you know, and I said, well, you're not called to be like Billy Graham. Mm. There was a, there was a, if you know the story, I said there was a guy who used to be sell shoes. He was the one that witnessed to Billy Graham. Hallelujah. And that led Thank him you. to the you Lord. See. see? And he mm. didn't, he, this man who was, who sold shoes, he didn't really end up, um, you know, bringing a whole lot of people into the kingdom of God as far as, you know, uh, seeing them being born again. But he was sensitive and obedient to the Holy mm. Spirit and to witness to the ones that God brought mm. into his life. And because he was faithful to do that, one of them was Billy Graham. And we all know the story, how yes. the ripple effect. Now, what if that man wouldn't, what, what, what if he chose, oh, I'm not going to witness today? Exactly. What would have exactly. happened, right? Yes. So we're all, there's, there's this connection that's going on throughout uh, mm. uh, the history and the timeline. And so we just got to be sensitive. Whether God's called you mm -hmm. to, to go to nations like my brother or witness to your next door neighbor or the guy that's in the next cubicle to you at mm. your workplace or the guy that you run into at the parking lot, at the mall, whatever the case may be, uh, God. God has given you the power and the, the anointing and the Spirit of God and the Word of God to be His light, to be His Word. We're, we've been entrusted with the ministry of reconciliation, the Bible says, Amen. and to build this bridge between God the Father and these other people. And, and so, as if God is speaking through us to yes, them. Yes, yeah. exactly. So that, that, that is so exciting. So. Um, <clears throat> Uh, so when you travel to different countries, you see that this the same thing happening. All over in yeah. the same. I try to minister in the same way. Yeah. I try to be out there as long as I can, so that we can get the presence, so we can break through these strongholds. Yeah. So what happens many times? Um, let's just say, like I was speaking about, when you open a door. If I come here and nobody opens the door, right. then you can't do what you're supposed to do. You right. see, or if they limit you in time, or they limit you in the program and things mm -hmm. like that, then the gospel cannot be preached, you know, and you cannot bring that uh, message as you're carrying mm -hmm. to people. You need to be connected to the right people. Yes, yeah. you need to be connected in that. Mm, yeah. Absolutely. Well, praise God. That's a very, very, very exciting. So um, we just want to encourage people. Mm. Let's just take a minute and let's just uh, uh, let's just pray for them. Let's just yes. pray that God Thank will you, stir Lord. them up mm. on the inside. Thank you, and, Jesus. And uh, wherever they're at, mm. as my brother from South Africa mm. here, he has an incredible yes. anointing upon his life. Mm. Every time he prays, I feel the surge of power. Mm. Now, as he 
praise. Now get ready to receive this. There's going to be just the power of God. Something's going to be stirred up on the inside of you mm. to begin to really hunger and thirst and desire to do that which God has called you to do with your life in Jesus' name. Amen. Father, hear your people, Lord. There are many watching. There are many listening, Lord. And yes. I pray, Lord, that that word will go in, Lord, yes. and find good ground there, Lord. Lord, I just pray for those that are wondering, you, what are you calling me for? What am I to do, Lord? Yes. Lord, that you will show them, Lord. Mm. That you will show them their ministry, Lord. That you will bring them, Lord. And bring them to a place, Lord, where they can be witnesses, Lord. Whether to the one, to the multitudes, Lord. Whether they will mm. travel or stay at home, Lord. But that you will do that. Lord. Yes. And Lord, there are those also that are in need, Lord. As I'm praying here, Lord, I know that there are those in need, and I'm asking those that are in need, just come forward and touch your television, yes. touch your computer. Yes. I'm going to pray a prayer of faith, and you will be healed, you will be set free. There are other things that can happen, mm. and, and God can bring through to you the kingdom of God. And I specifically think about a lady in Kenya, a widow that reached out in faith with one dollar, one dollar worth of Kenya shillings in her hand and God multiplied that to a 60 fold. Mm. Lord there are those that are in need now. Heal them Lord. Amen. Provide for them Lord. Mm. Make a way in Jesus name. Mm. Every need Lord as they draw upon the anointing as yes, they Lord. draw and call upon you Lord mm. Lord surely you will answer them. Surely your arm is not too short Lord. Yes. Hear them Lord hear them Lord and heal them Lord Thank in the Lord. mighty name of Jesus. Mm. Amen. 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 Hallelujah. Woo, Amen. That was powerful right there. I felt the power of God just shoot right through the camera Hallelujah. right there. I mean, I felt it just surging up out of my spirit as he was praying like that thank in you, Jesus, Jesus name. Thank I you. thank you, Lord, for doing that. Mm -hmm. Just receive that in Jesus name. Listen, now, I just want to just say, if, if it's in your heart, you'll see uh, Evangelist Ricky's information on the screen from time to time. If it's in your heart to support him in the mission work, I highly recommend that you do that. I encourage you to do that. This is a man of integrity. He is doing an absolute wonderful, precious work for the Lord Jesus Christ. And I know that he could use all the help that you could uh, give him. And so pray about that and think mm -hmm. about that.